Hey guys, I'll be showing you today how to install GFCI outlet under the kitchen. So I recently, you know, uh, wanted to install uh, one more outlet uh, because one is already being used by my garbage disposal. So I thought, uh, let me install a second one. And so what I did is I brought the cable, uh, 14 ga uh, 12 gauge cable from uh, basement and ran it upstairs. In the kitchen um, and uh, I need to make GFCI outlet here so I'll show you how, to, how I did it uh, in this video so hopefully this will help someone out so let's start all right uh, so things you need uh, all this stuff I got from Home Depot um, and uh, you, you know you can go there and make sure you get uh, the stuff shown on the screen so the metal box and you have say outlet a steel conduit pipe a flexible steel conduit pipe um, that's pretty much it uh, you want to remove these two tabs from the outlet uh, in order to fit this outlet inside the metal box or it won't fit uh, I, scratch, I was scratching my head like why it's not working uh, why it's not you know I was not able to fit this inside the outlet but then I found out I have to remove these two guys so make sure you do that next is to bend top holes uh, which I'm showing you right now make sure you bend them in order to uh, fit the outlet inside uh, the metal box Use the provided screw to fit the outlet inside the metal box. Now, get the steel conduit pipe. It's in Home Depot. You'll see in the same section where you get the metal box. And um, you need to get this connector, which I'm showing you right now. And that plugs inside the, the steel conduit. So everything gets like this, guys, right here. You need to get those and they are sized I believe half inch if I'm not wrong yep that's a half inch so make sure you get all these parts uh, you, it should that's that's where they were saying you cannot have a cable um, open so you need to use this to conduit the long wire that I'm you know, attached to a metal box make sure you have this setup all right so all I'm gonna do is put the steel conduit around the cable and uh, you know set up the box that I showed you earlier um, like how everything is set up from steel conduit to the metal box so your cable is not exposed so now is just uh, uh, you know stripping the cable I just do like around half inch or so not too much and repeat the same thing for the white cable. So once this step is done, the next part is to install your GFCA outlet. Uh, on the outlet itself, there are three screws. One is gold, one is silver, and one is green. So gold is hot, silver is white, and uh, green is your copper. So all we have to do is plug them in. Uh, make sure you uh, plug them in clockwise and you wanna band a cable a little bit like that. And that's all, I mean, all you have to do is screw them in really tight. So you see, I put the black cable on the gold screw or gold plated screw and the silver screw for neutral cable. and the green screw for the copper cable, the bare copper cable. And make sure everything is really tight. All the screws are very tight and uh, they don't, they're not loose. And we can just finish everything off.
All right, so we're just gonna test and see if it turns on, and it did. Uh, if it doesn't, make sure you press the reset button and it should turn on. And that should be it. Hopefully you liked the video. Please do subscribe for future videos and thanks for watching.